I'm going to show you how to get to Bach Batal early game, and also show you the other ways that you can get to Bach Batal. I'll start out with the early game one. This is the most difficult and takes the most time. What you need to do if you haven't progressed the main quest and you want to get to Bach Batal is from Vernworth. You need to head on this road and go west. And you basically need to follow this path like this and keep heading on the main road. And then once you get here, you need to head south and you'll find the square coat cavern. You have to go through the cavern and then keep heading south. And eventually you get to Bakbatal. If you're going to go this way and you're pretty low level, I would recommend being a mage. And as a mage, I would say the most important things to have are Frigger and Celerity. I think that you can have Celerity once you're level 4. And then Levitate is really helpful. Celerity gives you a movement speed bonus, so you can run past a lot of the high level enemies that would normally catch you and kill you pretty easily. And then Levitate allows you to kind of cheese enemies by getting on rocks and flying over bridges and stuff. And Frigger lets you bounce enemies up into the air, so if you do decide to kill them, then you can basically keep juggling most of the enemies you're going to find on this path. And as long as you manage your stamina, if you want to kill them, you can just keep juggling them with Frigger over and over. Also drops the ice blocks that you can throw at enemies that do way more damage than you'll be able to do at low level. So that's the first way that you can get there, and you can get there at any level. I went there when I was probably level 7 or so the first time, and it was pretty rough trying to go that way when I was low level, but it is possible. I'm not going to go through the whole route because it's pretty straightforward, honestly. I will say though, in the cave, it will make it a lot faster if you have levitate because you can just fly over these bridges that get knocked down. Other than that, just follow the route I showed on the map at the beginning. Then the other way you can get to Bakpatal is once you progress the main quest far enough, you get this Beast Rem Border Entry Permit, and you can take the Ox Cart from Vernworth. I'll show you where it is on the map. So from the main merchant square, it's just to the west. And if the ox cart is not there, or if it's not the time yet, you can go up to the sign and await the ox cart. Then you can pay to board the ox cart. Then doze off. And this takes you to Checkpoint Rest Town. This is where you'll use that border entry permit. And once you're here, what you're going to need if you're not a beast wren is you're going to need to go to the shop that looks like a pen and paper on the map. And talk to this guy at Ibrahim's scrap store. Buy this beast wren mask. And then we just need to head up this main road. That goes up through here. And once you get up to the top of this road where this gate is, there's a shack here. Inside the shack is a note that says that you can use the entry permit if you're a beast wren or if the cargo bears relation to the research laboratory. I'm guessing there's a way to do this by doing a research laboratory quest or something as well. But we're going to do the faster way and equip the beast wren mask. Go up to this guard. And then show him the border entry permit. Now he'll let you through the gate. Then once you're here, you basically just have to follow the main road, and it goes all the way to Bakpatal. There are a lot of enemies on this road, by the way. If you want the ox cart that goes to Bakpatal from here, I believe that you have to kill the griffin boss that's on the way. It's also a possibility that you need the Bakpatal residence permit. Either way, the first time you go there, you're going to have to go by foot. And that's it.